Okay, hello everybody, Carolyn here. Welcome to a super fun video. <laughs> Today I'm going to be setting up some A5 binders. You're probably like, did I click on the right channel? <laughs> You're probably super confused. Oh my gosh, I left my matcha over in my kitchen. Hold on, I need it. I was gonna make matcha boba today. It's kind of been like my Tuesday thing, um, but I didn't feel like waiting to make boba today. Anyways, today I'm going to be doing a super exciting video. I'm going to be setting up some A5 binders. You know, y'all think that I can't keep a secret. <laughs> I haven't told like anybody about this that I was thinking about doing this and I'm very proud of myself for that because usually I'm really bad at keeping secrets. I recently decided to invest in some A5 binders. I've actually had these since December and just haven't filmed this video because I don't even know, like, but I've just kind of been prioritize, prioritizing other videos. However, I really wanted to set up two A5 binders for smaller collections that I have. And I don't know, I've been really curious about A5 binders and I wanted to try them out and see how I felt about them. So these are the Beyond D brand which is like the most popular brand. Um, I got these at a US website. Um, oh my gosh, I can't remember the name of it now. <laughs> I can't remember the name of it, it was so long ago, but I'll go ahead and link the site down below. They were super great. These weren't too overly expensive. I didn't wanna like buy them from Japan, you know, um, or Korea. And I wanted something that was like cute. I wanted the pocket on the front. Um, though I'm not sure at this point in time what I wanna put in the pocket, but that's this whole thing. So we're gonna set up today. <laughs> I did print out some covers um, for the inside of one of them, for both of the binders. Um, so yes, as you can see, we have one green one and one pink one. So let me explain what I plan on putting in each binder. So in the green binder, I wanna move TXT and in hyphen um, out of the high binder and into this mini binder. Um, I want to do this for a couple of reasons. One, because the other two like groups in that binder are 17 and BTS, who I collect more like non-album and like other things for, you know what I mean? Um, and I just feel like, I feel like I need to collect more for Inhyphen and TXT, even though like I don't actually like have that huge desire to do it because they're in the same binder as um, BTS and 17. And I would like to expand the BTS and 17 collections more. Um, and I feel like it'll be better to put TXT and a hyphen in their own binder. Yeah. <laughs> um, also in this binder, I plan on moving Ive in here. They're a super new group. I collect Kyle, if you don't know. And um, I want to collect her kind of thoroughly, but I don't know. I want to put her in here. And then I also want to put Winter from my Espa collection in here. Um, so Winter and Kyle will be in here and Jake and Yunjun will be in this binder. And we're gonna see how it goes. We're gonna try this out. This is in no way a tutorial. <laughs> I'm learning how to do all this stuff right now. So I guess this would be a good video if you're like looking for someone who um, doesn't really know if they like the A5 setup yet, but I wanna try it because I'm curious about it. Obviously I've seen a lot of my friends use A5 binders. Um, a couple concerns I've always had about A5 binders is one, I don't know if I would like the four pocket setup for my collections. I really do like the nine pocket setup, but we're gonna try it out because like I said, for, for other groups, I feel like my collections, I wanna keep them smaller and I don't wanna have like nine cards per era for everyone. I don't know, I thought it'd be nice. And then also like, it beats buying another big binder. <laughs> yeah, and then obviously, I'm afraid of running out of space all the time. So that's kind of why I wanted to buy the Beyond D ones. I felt like their rings were a little bigger than some of the other ones I've seen. So yeah, let's go ahead and get started. I think we'll do the boy group first. Oh, I also bought some four pockets. I don't know if we're gonna have enough, but I hope we do. So we have some four pockets. And then we also have, I have some one pockets too. So we will see. We'll see. Also, I know that the cardstock is sticking out a little bit, but I want to see if it's going to be better once I have like sleeves and cards in here. Otherwise, I can trim these. It's not really a big deal. I just wanted to have some sort of cover on it. I was going to have like things to decorate the cover, but <laughs> I'm not an artistic girl. Um, shocker, I'm not. <laughs> I have a science brain. I don't have an art brain. Um, and yeah, so. 
<laughs> so I might end up doing that in this video like later in this video or I might um, just end up doing it off camera but I'm not really sure what I want to do yet and I'm like afraid of commitments to like decorations on my binders. I'm not sure yet what we're gonna do but I can't believe I'm finally filming this video. It's literally been so long. <laughs> so I'm gonna take all this out. It actually opened up quite a bit more space than I was expecting it to, so that's fun. I really hope we have enough sleeves. I bought 20. I felt like that would be enough. Potokad. <laughs> Potokad. I love that. I love that photo card in Korean is Potokad. I thought I bought the ones, like the sleeves, you know, that have like the double pockets on both sides, but I guess that's not the Beyond D brand or I'm not sure what brand this is. So, well, this brand is Beyond D, but I'm not sure what brand that is. So if you know, let me know in the comments. I'm open to any and all advice regarding um, A5 binders. This is just an experiment. Like I said, science brain. One thing right off the bat that I really, really like about this binder is how flat it lays. I really thought that it was gonna be a binder that I was gonna have to hold down this entire video, which was really gonna annoy me. <laughs> I was, as somebody who films, it, that would really annoy me because I just feel like it wouldn't look good on camera, but it doesn't. Okay, so we've got my photo cards here. This is my first page of Yeonjun. So obviously these sleeves are not going to fit here because these are standard size sleeves. So, what we're gonna have to do, we're going to have to resleeve these cards. So thankfully, I have my sleeves from my friend's Titan Shield. This is not a sponsored video, by the way. <laughs> but I do have the Japanese size sleeves from Titan Shield. So yeah, use one aid 15 for 15% 15 off your order on the Amazon website. Just saying. The code still works. But yes, yeah, so I'm gonna have to resleeve all. Oh. His cards are so cute. I understand. I understand why he goes for so much money. He's too cute for this. Okay, those also weren't really hard to get in, which was nice. Um, it was really easy to slip in the photo card because another one of my fears is like the only experience I have with A5 binders is the 17 karat version binder <laughs> from Ataka. And I hate that binder. Like I hate it with a burning passion. Um, I just struggled so much in that video. And I feel like you can't tell because I just time-lapsed everything, which is usually what I do when I'm just like straight up struggling. It's so pretty too. We're just like admiring my whole Yeonjun collection here. I don't think I like how easily, like I usually go from above and go like that. And I feel like you can't do that super well with these. Also, I am still missing two Yeonjun cards. The arc. Hadia and the Sanctuary card. I actually got one of them recently. I'm trading for one, but I can't remember which version at the moment. So I also invested in some Dragon Shield white matte um, Japanese sleeves. I'll link these down below too, in case you're interested. I'll link everything I'm using in this video down below. But I bought these because I do really like having the white sleeve when I'm missing a card. And that was another issue I was gonna have with the A5 binders. Um, I put a lot of thought into this because a lot of people have asked me if I would ever try them. And so I started doing a little research, watching a couple videos about it. And I was like, this is my list of problems. If I can solve all these problems, I will give it a shot because I really do want to put TXT in and hyphen in here. So just work on sleeving the cart. So this is the first page. I also didn't want to be able to see the cards through the binder, which is why I made these. I bet you could buy covers somewhere, but I just decided to make one, an artsy girl. We love an artsy girl. <laughs> I don't think I'm gonna use the back unless I have to. Yeah, I shouldn't have to. All right, let me go ahead and go through and yeah, I'll be right back.
Okay, so that's all of the nine pocket size cards that I own for Yunjun. So I really like how they look in an A5 binder, not gonna lie. Um, I think this turned out very um, cute. I really like it. But yeah, so a couple things um, about the A5 binder is Overall, I felt filming with it was kind of awkward, but I think it's just because I'm used to filming with a much larger binder. So if you saw me like repositioning it a lot, it's because I'm just not used to filming with a smaller binder. But I really like it. I felt like it got easier to slip cards in, um, except for the top one. But yeah. The next thing we have to discuss is these I'm gonna uh, re-put. These were some freebies someone sent me. I'm gonna put them with the rest of my like special freebie cards. So I'm not gonna store those in here. But I'm thinking there are some larger items I have for Yeonjun and I think I wanna store them, but I'm just not sure how to go about doing that. So I'm kind of wondering if I should keep my larger inclusions in my hive binder. I think I'm gonna do that. I think I'm gonna keep the larger inclusions in the hive binder. I think I wanna make this specifically for nine pocket cards. And I don't normally collect large inclusions for Jake or Yeonjun. So I just have like a couple of random ones. So I'll either end up selling off the extra larger inclusions or I'll keep them in the hive binder. I will uh, think about that. I do wanna do a divider card eventually in between Yunjun and Jake, but for right now, um, we're just gonna do Jake's stuff. So I have, a, I have a lot of cards for Jake, holy cow. <laughs> when did we get so many cards? I think it is time to say goodbye to Jay though. I don't think Jay can be moved to this binder, at least not right now, so. I'll have to find a special place for him elsewhere, but we'll see. I also don't know if I want to put well, maybe this card because this is actually like from an album, but I really like the way that this page is laid out though. So maybe I'll keep this in my hide binder as well. Go ahead and organize Jake. Besties, we've encountered a problem. This is the last page. <laughs> uh, yeah, but it's okay. I bought another pack of 10 and we definitely don't need this many for Ive and Espa. Like we probably only need like two or three pages for each group. So it's fine. I'm just gonna have to order some more <laughs> is what that means. I thought that like that would be good for a minute, but I think I also originally had plans of double siding these pockets. Um, and I think I still wanna be able to see the backs of the cards, but I don't know. I might change my mind with that. This is, this is literally a one pocket. Hold on. Okay, I had a moment where I was like, I was like, I'm not sure if I have any more of these sleeves, but I was like, I'm pretty sure I bought two packs, but we did find the other pack. So I went ahead and re-sleeved the rest of the cards because it was taking me a long time to do it on camera. So I just went ahead and re-sleeved them off camera. Um, so yeah, let's continue.
Okay, so that is it for this binder. I ended up doing a little reorganizing just to make it so that the newest album, because there's only four cards, I really wanted all of those cards on the same page and having Jay in there was gonna make it so that was not possible. So I'm so sorry, but yes. I'm really happy with how this turned out. Let me, yeah. I'm really happy with how this binder turned out. I think it is so cute. Oh my gosh. So this is what I ended up doing. I ended up putting the extra um, dilemma card here, um, the Target exclusive card. And then there is a fifth card for Jake um, from their most recent album. So there's a Target card as well. Um, and I do have a trade for that. So Maybe for right now, I will keep Jay and just <laughs> me not being able to give up this Jay card is just such a problem, honestly. Um, I could see though how collecting two members in an A5 would be really nice though because it just, I feel like it would add up like super well. Like I think I definitely would recommend A5 to anyone who wants to collect two members of a group. So I might put this J card here and then put Jake's target exclusive here um, for right now. And then we'll kind of just go from there. So yeah, but that is it for this binder. Um, we still have so much room here, which is great because obviously like I don't want a billion A5 binders. <laughs> um, also, yeah, that's gonna end up being too long. So I might end up doing another segment where I like decorate this, but I definitely will trim this cardstock because I don't want it poking out like that. Though it does, it looks really nice. Like I originally had it so that it was the same size as the sleeves um, and I didn't quite like how that looked, but I might keep this height cause that's fine and just like make this a little bit shorter. But anyways, I will probably do that off camera. So that's this binder. The second one won't take nearly as long, I promise. This binder I haven't even opened yet, but like I said, gonna be putting Ive and Espa in here. These are the covers that I made for them. I'm gonna have to trim these as well because they're the same size as the the ones in the Enhypen and TXT binder. So yeah, I think tonight I'm going to kind of play around with what like photo or what I want to put in this pocket up here and then maybe tomorrow I'll like have the thing trimmed and I'll have everything like set up and I'll do a little flip through. Now, SM, Starship, <laughs> because I'm doing this, I need y'all to not release like 8,000 cards for Espa and Ive, okay? <laughs> Please have mercy. Um, all right, let me pull those out. Like I said, I don't have as many cards for these groups. They definitely haven't been around as long as TXT and Unhyphen. And um, Espa has a lot of non-album stuff. Ive has a lot of pobs and Espa has a lot of non-album stuff but I don't really collect a lot of that. I just kind of like live my best life. So literally I just have like these two pages in my binder for Ive and Espa. I'm gonna do Espa first cause they're the senior group. And I guess they're also technically higher on my bias list. I don't know. I think of Espa and Ive as pretty equal for me. I'm gonna put um, the rest of the sleeves in here and I'll just make sure to order more. But I don't think I'm gonna need all of these. Thankfully the store I found was in the US because yeah. <laughs> yep. But I kind of planned out my whole Ive collection around the fact that I wanted to put Ive in this binder. Um, Espa, not as much, but it's okay. Three, four, five, six, seven. I'm gonna end up with eight cards for Espa, so it'll work out. I don't have any large inclusions for either group, so. That's nice. All right, we'll do winter first, like I said. Okay. Now, here's the issue, is I don't remember. <laughs> I don't remember what goes with what. That sound didn't make this make any sense. <laughs> So these two, these two are supposed to be together. And then I guess these two are supposed to be together, but I don't like that. So I'm gonna do what I want. 
Unless the template I'm just looking at is inaccurate, but I don't think that's true. Then I have my cash fee card that I randomly got. And then I'll have the POB from the group order I joined coming. So yeah, I'm just gonna put that there. And then that's all I have for Espa until they make a Korean comeback, which I'm sure will be like sooner rather than later. Um, for Ive, I only have two cards currently, but I do have others coming. I have a couple at the Neo Kyo Warehouse, and then I also have a couple trades coming in. So I think what I want to do, this is one of her album cards. So I'm going to do her album cards first. I traded for a lot of her stuff, but not all of it yet. And then this is a My Music Taste card because originally I just joined my friend's group order. Some of these sleeves like stick together a lot. <laughs> All right, so yeah, that's gonna be that. I'm gonna put her other album card here and then I think I'll put her ID card here because one of the other pods I bought was Starship Square, which is like pop out card. So those two will go there. And then I don't know if I'll end up um, getting more pods for her or what I'm gonna do. I think at this point, I think I'm just gonna wait for Ive to make a comeback. Um, and just kind of go from there, but yeah, obviously I want both of her album cards and then this is the girl group binder. I told you this one was not going to take as long. <laughs> um, and then I assume I also need to fix this, don't I? Can I? Yes, I do. It's a little long. I'm not sure how I feel about this, this cover design to be honest. Um, originally I was going to do this, but I only have one of these. So yeah, I might end up changing out this cover. Um, I might make new covers for it, but yeah. So this is a super small collection binder, but it's really cute and I like it. And I do have like a larger um, Ive item coming. I have her message card coming, um, Gala's message card. So I might just put, keep those two and then put it in here that's the only large inclusion i think from the album i think that's all starship did which starship why do i get all the weirdly sized items for months decks and then i get like one strange item <laughs> like excuse me um it's okay i'm sure it's because i have our new group and that we'll have plenty of strangely shaped and sized inclusions soon because just looking at all of starship's other groups is yeah so Alright, so I'm just gonna put one of the one pockets in here and I'll make a white filler for this because it's gonna bother me if I can see through it. But yeah, I might also just use these like in between collections. It might be easier to just do that than like add in a cover. I mean, that's what I do for my big binders too, is I'll just like fill one of these one pockets with cardstock. So maybe I'll do that for these binders too. But yeah, so I am going to do a little, uh, a little organizing and a little like fixing the design of these off camera and then because if I do it on camera I'm just gonna mess up like 8,000 times but yeah I'll come back and I'll show you the finished product um hopefully I do that tomorrow so yeah see you then okay so I am back it's been a couple days since I filmed that last clip but I I think this is the final look for the binders for right now. I know that a lot of people put like a ton of stickers on their cover, but I put these cards in and I was like, 
I kind of like it like this, at least for right now. Um, I'll be honest, I don't own a ton of stickers anyways, so um, I would have to like go out and get some. So I might do that eventually. I'll keep you guys updated in my sorting photo card videos what the covers of these look like, but I'm so excited. Um, yeah, these are the covers. The only other thing I really changed is I cut these down, like cut the, um, the first page down a little bit. And um, in between both groups, I added just like some white cardstock um, in one of the one pocket sleeves just to separate things a little bit. It's kind of what I do in my nine pockets as, or my three inch binders as well. Um, overall thoughts of the binders. Um, I really like them. I think they're super cute and I think that they're really, really great for smaller collections. Um, I obviously definitely wouldn't store like my Monsta X collection in here or like my treasure collection or like any groups that I collect a lot of stuff for. Stray Kids I wouldn't store in here just cause like, yeah. But as you can see, we have a ton of room here still to grow, which I really, really like. Um, and I think I'm gonna really enjoy using these um, for my photo card collections. So yeah, I really like the way that this looks. I really like the four pockets and I don't know, I really enjoyed um, putting these binders together with you guys. So yeah, it definitely makes me feel a little better about not owning like tons of extra stuff for like in Hypen and TXT and groups that I don't collect a lot outside of album cards. Um, yeah, I definitely would be interested in getting like a third one of these maybe for ATs, but I kind of like the way my ATs um, collection looks like in a nine pocket page. So yeah. Also I put these on my shelf and I really like, like I have a shelf that I keep all my binders on and I, I just don't, I don't know, I really like them. So I was, I was very skeptical about these for a while. Um, these photos, by the way, I just printed out on cardstock. I, um, Looked up some cute selfie photos on the internet of both Yeonjun and Kal, and I um, sized them to photo card size. I'll go ahead and write the size that I used. Printed them out on cardstock so they would be a little thicker than just like, yeah. I thought about rounding the corners because I do have a corner rounder, but I kind of like the way they look with like square edges as well. So, yeah. We have the Espa collection, which I really like my Espa collection in this A5 binder, by the way. I think it looks really good. It makes me feel better about not owning like a ton of their like super expensive extra merch, you know what I mean? Um, and then of course we have Belle. I actually found a trade for her other card the other day, which is really exciting. And then I have some stuff coming from Neokyo at some point um, whenever I shipped that package out. But yeah, and then I just kept a bunch of the extra nine pockets in this binder. Um, just so they don't get lost because there's a lot of room in this binder. Like this binder is going to last me a long time, especially because I don't know. I feel like it's going to be a hot minute before we get another um, Espa like physical release. But I think that we'll get another I have one super soon because if it's one thing I know, it's Starship Entertainment. <laughs> um, but yeah, that is it for this video. I do hope you enjoyed. If you use an A5 binder, let me know what you think of it in the comment section down below. And if you don't use an A5 binder, but you've been thinking about it, what's one thing that's kind of like holding you back from using one? Because then the people who use A5 binders um, can like answer your questions and concerns. And like, I don't know, I feel like when I was debating on whether or not to use A5 binders, there were a lot of people who were super, super helpful in the binder community and the photo card community who kind of explained to me like, like all of my concerns and like why, like their experiences with things that I'm concerned about, you know what I mean? I don't know if that made any sense, but yeah, thank you so much for watching this video. I do hope you enjoyed and I will see you guys very, very soon. Bye-bye.